Hey, fairy friends. I'm here to be real today. You know, I think every ASMR YouTuber, like, has their niche and has their, like, thing that keeps viewers coming back. And I would say it. Okay, just checking. Make sure my mic is working. Okay, we're good. Um, anyway, I would say my niche is, like, I'll always be honest. I'll always keep it real, like, I don't get me wrong, like, ASMR Darling, she's amazing, but to me, she's very vanilla. I don't see, like, a lot of unique personality in her. I mean, she's quirky. But, like, for someone like me, I'll always keep it real. I'm not afraid to, like, say an unpopular opinion and maybe say something taboo. Or, like, you know, think what I think or feel what I feel. And I think that's really important to be that way because one well, brush my hair to the side, otherwise it's going to rub against the mic. I think it's important to be that way because otherwise you're just a sheep. Who wants to be a sheep, you know? I mean, you know what? I take that back. Some people probably find a lot of comfort in being sheep, and if that is you, like, no judgment, like, live your life as long as you're happy. But me, I don't find comfort in that. Oh my god, look at my nails, they're so pretty. Um... I am a sheep right now with my glittery nails, because glittery nails are so in. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'll always keep it real, so I'm going to be real right now. Like, <laughs> I hope no one watches this video, because I'm having a bit of a hard time right now, and like, I'm embarrassed to admit it, because, you know, on social media and stuff, we're all supposed to portray these happy you know, no problems, attitude, like, I only post about my successes, or there are people who post about their hardships, but it, that's, like, really cringy to me, it's like, oh my god, I can't, like, I can't find a job, or, like, all this stuff, and it's like, you know, actually, I, I do appreciate that they're real about it, but, like, sometimes it's weird, because they'll just, like, all they do is like, post negative stuff, like, this is bad is happening, now this bad thing is happening to me, and, Blah, blah, blah. And that's like I've done follow those people because that's not gonna really a good energy to be around, even though you know I do appreciate the realness, but I don't know. <laughs> you probably know what I'm talking about. You probably have someone in mind who fits my description. Oh my gosh, shave my armpits for once in my life. Thank god. I like never do. I'm so bad about it. I don't like to buy razors, they're so expensive. Um, maybe I should put some on my Amazon wish list <laughs> and I don't have to worry about it. If anyone ever buys me anything, I won't let one person buy me something, and they're really nice, and I appreciate them, and, uh, you know, I'd love for that number to be a little higher. If you enjoy my channel, feel free to check out my Amazon wish list and my Patreon. My Patreon has some fun stuff on it, for sure. Um, okay, anyway. So I'm having, like, problems with dating right now. And, um, I've had problems with dating my whole life. I've really only had, like, two boyfriends in my whole, like, real boyfriends in my whole life. And even those relationships were not longer than six months. And one of them dumped me, and the other one was kind of a, we had to break up. It was like a ultimatum kind of situation. And, um, you know, so I haven't had a lot of success with dating and men. And, um, that really sucks because, like, I have girlfriends who've had boyfriends for two years, three years. I know girls in my grade from high school who already got married. I know another girl who's one year older than me who's already had a kid. And I was kind of like, I mean, personally, I don't want kids. Or I think if I did, maybe adopt and not for a long time. So, like, the rush to my biological clock, I'm not worried about that. But, uh, like, my... Like, my heart is just kind of lonely. Like, I just kind of want someone, you know? And I, we're not, like, I feel like, especially as, especially as women, it's like, we're not supposed to admit that, like, we need a man to complete us, kind of thing, that we want a man, and we want a relationship, because it kind of makes us come across as, like, desperate, and that can be really unattractive to men. But 
I like hate having to deny like who I am and what I feel because that's more desirable, you know? And you know, so I'm doing that. I mean, you probably saw my Bumble video. I'm doing the online dating thing. I do Bumble, Tinder, Okay, Cupid. Um, you know, it's going okay. I go on dates. I started. Well, I say this in my Bumble video. But I started online dating when I was 17 because I went to all girls Catholic school and I didn't really meet any boys, so I used it as a way to meet guys and. Um, it's been really successful for me in a lot of ways, because I've met guys I obviously never would have met if I wasn't on there. And I also don't drink, so I don't go out to bars and stuff. But I mean, I'll go every rare once in a while, even though it's not very fun for me. And that's probably not the type of place I'd want to meet a guy anyway. Like, you know, that's probably what I'm trying to say. There is that's not the kind of guy who would hang out at the bar. Is Probably not the type of guy I want to date. I mean, of course, there's always ex exceptions, but like in general, guys who hang out at the bar every weekend would not be the kind of guy I'd want to date. And that just sucks because I just feel like all the men are just looking for something so temporary, you know? They just want to. I was just reading Milk and Honey by Ruby Kapoor, you know? They just want to take a little vacation with you and stay in your hotel room. Nobody wants to build a home or anything. It's not like that. I'm saying that the next guy who I date, like, you know, exclusively, like, has to be my boyfriend and we have to get married and that kind of thing. But, you know, it'd be nice for someone to love and to love me. Like, I've had some tastes of that. And it's so beautiful and it's so fun. And, yeah, of course, there's stressful things about it, but I think the pros outweigh the cons. In a lot of ways and being in love makes me want to be a better version of myself it's weird it's like I just, just like when I'm in love I have this extra like drive in life about my passions and my things because I just feel like the romantic part of my life is like all taken care of and all settled so I don't have to worry about it as much and um, it, you know it allows me to focus my energy on other things and like I wish I had that drive when I was just, like, single. I mean, I do have drive, obviously, but I wish I had that extra drive when I was single. Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, what, what is missing? And, you know, it's hard because, you know, I have a lot of friends around me who are having a lot of success with relationships or who don't have a relationship but are somehow so content with it. They're so, like, happy and they're like, hey, when the right person comes, I'll come. They're not like me where it's like, you know, they don't, Almost like they don't feel that loneliness, which is just shocking to me. I can't imagine that. I would, I'm jealous of them. And, um, you know, it's hard, too, because as a girl, I mean, I think I check off all the boxes. I mean, I'm cute. I'm funny. You know, I have a nice body, and, you know, I, I'm smart. I can hold a conversation. I love video games. Like, what kind of a little girl who loves video games? Like... I, there's definitely some cons to me as well, like, the honesty thing, and the, I often just say whatever, whatever is on my mind, like, I'm thinking back to a date I just had earlier this week, where I just said, I asked a question that was just so inappropriate, and I was just like, dear God, send me, please, just like, <laughs> I don't want to say what I would actually send to myself, but, just, you know, just send me, just stop. Please, send me, just stop. You know, because I'm a freak. But, um, and, you know, so I, I feel like I check off all the boxes for the most part. And of course, there's some cons to me, which I could explain, like, which I just said. And, um, also, like, I do have anxiety. I just feel like I kind of get anxious in situations and big crowds make me nervous and stuff. But I'm trying to get past that. And like if I was with a man I love, like I feel like I could easily like move beyond that stuff, which is annoying. I wish I could just move beyond it by myself. But it just helps to have someone there to comfort you and stuff. Um, okay, what else? I don't, 
and today on this topic. Because I had a lot of thoughts and I don't have a therapy session scheduled for this week, so you guys are my therapist, which <laughs> I feel so bad for my therapist. She's so nice. I love her. But I just, I'm probably the worst client ever. I should probably like, God, this girl, <laughs> she's fucking crazy. <laughs> what am I going to do with her? She's so nice to me though. If you're looking for a therapist, send me a message. She, well, she only works with women, but it's actually it's on. It's really cool. It's online therapy. I'm sure you've seen like ads for that, but I love it because then I don't have to worry about driving anywhere, and we can kind of schedule sessions really last minute. And you know, we text and stuff too, and she always answers really well with that. So if you're looking for one, let me know. But only with women. And. Um, Anyway, I'm sure, um, just keep tapping on my phone. I have, like, a lot of new ideas for a video, like, my strange addiction. It's a girl who can't stop tapping on things, but that's honestly true, like, Ever since I started ASMR, like, I'm always tapping on things. Like, I love to tap on my bed. Why would they even give me? I'm so normal and cool. <laughs> I guess I know why. It's because I tap on things. That's why no one likes me. It's just kind of ridiculous because I just feel like, and you know, I'm talking about men, but I'm sure there's many of women who do these same things to guys. But like, I have been ghosted so many times. Like, I have had some amazing romantic encounters with guys where it's just like, we really connected. Like, I thought we had great chemistry, like, all that stuff. And then just kind of like out of nowhere, like, Unfollow on Instagram, no response to a text, like, done. I'm like, that really hurts. So, like, I get it. Like, not everyone's going to be interested in me. And that's totally cool, but I just kind of wish I knew why. Like, it's like, oh, they met someone else. That would be nice to know. Oh, they are not looking for anything too serious right now. Well, maybe they shouldn't have said all those romantic things to me. You know, often it really annoys me when men's behavior and their words, like what they say, don't match. And, uh, you know, if, if that doesn't match, like, obviously that's not the kind of guy I want to be with anyway. So, like, thank you for leaving me and getting out of my life. But also, screw you because you lied. Why would you, I don't know, want to lie to a cute, sweet girl like me? Um, <laughs> I'm sure there's some of you sitting at home watching this video and being like, Fairy Blossom, Sydney, I date you, I date you. And that is very sweet. I really appreciate that. But, you know, I am not looking for any like, long distance thing so don't don't try <laughs> I mean you could try but I won't respond probably <laughs> I can just be your virtual girlfriend like just pretend like this is just a conversation I'm having with you like like in my bedroom like you know whatever but unfortunately I can't be it in real life it's funny how many guys, not how many, there's not so many, but, like, maybe you actually think they have a shot. It's like, I'm on the internet, like, <laughs> what? I mean, I have had, when I was younger, a few guys I used to, like, talk to from the internet that were, like, in different states or whatever that I really had no intention of meeting ever just to talk, but that was when I was younger, and now I ain't got time for that talking over the texting shit. I want to meet in person. I want to have a real connection. 
you know, it's boring just to text with someone all day. <laughs> Don't ask me where I live and if you can come visit me. I'm not stuck in Florida. Sorry. <laughs> I really want a dog. If I get a dog, then I won't have to worry about stupid boys. I'll have my love. Someone to love. And someone to love me. Yeah, and it's like, I feel like I have a lot of love to give, and it's just kind of like sitting here doing nothing. And I certainly give it to myself. I love to be by myself. Like, I'm not like a super extroverted person, actually. But, you know, why not share the love? I don't know if you guys saw that video. I saw it on YouTube recently. That girl who sent 65,000 text messages to some guy she met like online. She was like, I am the love. I am the love. Dude, oh my god, I need to do a role play of her. She was like freaking crazy. Oh, I bet I could imitate her really well. She like didn't blink though. That would be really hard for me because I actually blink a lot. Not like right now, I'm just staring at you. I'm not blinking. I don't need to blink. What's a blink? 3.33 times light e equals mc squared to infinity. That's like the weird shit she said. I'm trying to think if I have anything else to say on this topic before I go. I mean... I do appreciate your support watching my videos and um, if you want to help me out be sure to check out my description box I've got some goodies in there you can check out always feel free to ask me questions in my comments I try to answer you I don't read stuff I'm too weird I didn't read all the comments but almost all of them usually I probably missed a few just accidentally though so I do appreciate your support. Like and subscribe if you want to hear more about the series of unfortunate events that is my life. <laughs> no, that's not true. My life is very beautiful and I'm very grateful for it. But, you know, it doesn't mean I don't have a struggle. Alright, fairy fans, fairy friends, fairy family. Much love to you. I hope you're ready to sleep by now. <laughs>